What's a good word, everyone? Tiger727 back with another video. I just want to show off some uh, basically a bunch of Tiger cards and a few non Tiger but Tiger related, I guess you could say. Um, and then the big stack you see in the background there um, that's a bunch of cards I've got from the trading card database over the last probably two, three months. And then the one on the right here is all Tigers that I've needed. Um, the one that gets left, I won't go through them all, but this is one of my favorite Jim Leland cards, the uh, 07 Tops. One of the things that made, um, I remember these back in the early 90s, the Electric Diamond, and I was going through some stuff a while back, and I'm like, you know what, I want to make the set. So I'm, trying, I'm working on the Electric Diamond set. Um, again, like I said, I'm not going to go through all these, I'll show you some. John Doherty, Electric Diamond. David Wells. David Wells has one heck of a uh, baseball collection. I, I think it was during the playoffs last year. They showed it on TBS, or maybe it's a YouTube video, or it might have been on Facebook or something. When I used to be when I used to be on Facebook, and then the rest of these are just a bunch of tigers that I needed for sets, um, variations, all those Donruss variations, the asterisks, uh, one asterisk, two asterisk. The front border is different, um, so. My OCD kicked in once I found out all those uh, borders and about the asterisks, and uh, just decided, you know what, I got to go for them all. So I'm getting there's like three or four variations of each year for about four or five years, um, and some cards a friend of mine gave me, uh, Matthew Boyd, uh, the uh, Holiday Edition Metallic, uh, Hal Newhouser. I forget what year this is out of, one of the recent years. Uh, Fielder from 91 Ultra before they went to the Glossy Cards. Tattleton, he was one of my favorite catchers as a kid in the early 90s. Uh, Dao Lugo, who's no longer in the organization. I don't even know if anybody's ever picked him up. Uh, Pink. And Matthew Boyd, uh, Topps Holiday. Or, I'm sorry. Matthew Boyd, I'm sorry, uh, jersey card. And there you see the 68 Mike Marshall, uh, an excellent five, um, part of my 68 Tiger team set. This puts me down to four cards, I believe. And actually a friend of mine hooked me up with a couple raw ones of uh, Willie Horton and I forget the other one. Uh, but I do not have those cards yet. I still need to get them from him and then at some point maybe when PSA lowers their uh, Their charges if ever uh, We'll get those sent in to be graded, but that's the Mike Marshall And I found these uh, I Want to say they're 54 I can't remember what year these are. I'm horrible with ears and cards for whatever reason um, But I found this short or really small little lot of four cards for I think I paid like three or four dollars for the for the four cards. Uh, Earl Torgerson, Babe Breyer, Ray Boone. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that's uh, Bob Boone and Aaron Boone's and Brett Boone's. Uh, gra uh, well, it'd be uh, Bob Boone's dad, uh, but then it's uh, Aaron and uh, Aaron's grandfather. And then uh, Harvey Kewen. So I got those four. And I, this was part of a trade on the Trading Card Daily Database. I believe this is the 62 post. Yes, it says last year under 61 if it focuses. Um, another thing that I started looking at on the Trading Card Database, because I had a couple of these. I got this one and I got uh, Norm Cash, I believe. And I figured, you know what, I'm going to go for the set. So I'm working on that. Who knows if I'll ever get there. And then I saw a guy on eBay a while back was selling um, this card. So I sent him a message. Uh, that operates in Desert Shield. Did some research. If you watched one of my videos a while back about the, you know, the logo up here, what you look for. So I, I messaged him and I said, hey, a lot of those are fake, you know, can you guarantee it's real? And obviously there's a trust thing going here between me and him, but his message seemed uh, quite legit. Military man uh, said he was given these 
uh, when he was overseas and um, lives in the Lakeland area so he's on eBay he's got a ton of Detroit Tiger stuff uh, autographs um, and if you watch my videos a while back you know Jim Leland's one of my favorite managers if not my favorite manager uh, so I had to pick it up I've got a few Leland autographs but this one's in ballpoint pen but uh, just really wanted it because it's autoed and got the Operation Desert Shield logo on there and then he just threw in a few other uh, Leland cards, nothing, 87 and 88. Uh, a friend of mine gave me this, uh, George Sisler and Ty Cobb card. I don't know if I've showed these yet. This is a uh, Christian Stewart who's actually with the Mud Hens now, but this one's numbered out of 300. And I picked up a Cabrera SP. Just like the card, you know. Not, not the typical dress you see uh, or clothing you see in a, in a uh, baseball card, but just a t-shirt from batting practice or whatever. Just just a cool looking card. And then I have this Travis Demerit. Um, I think this is an SP actually. Oh no, it's actually numbered to, uh, also numbered to 300. So, and then I got some more slabs. Uh, working on the uh, Desert Shield. PSA Tiger team set Larry Sheets I'm trying to get some of the lower ones uh, knocked out in value just because of cost and all that good stuff we all know that this hobby can be expensive Mike Henneman he was my favorite closer when I was a you know uh, in the early 90s being a Tiger fan I just when he came in it was pretty much guaranteed that he was gonna he was gonna shut it down He's probably the last really, you know, solid, consistent closer that I can remember. Um, you know, Valverde had his uh, moments where he'd had that consecutive streak, but he was up and down too. And then you had Todd Jones, who was they call him the roller coaster for just for that reason. And um, who's the one? I'm, oh, uh, Rodney, Rod, Fernando Rodney, Captain Crooked Cap. He was uh, he was solid there for a little bit too. Uh, Walt Terrell picked up the uh, Desert Shield the PSA 8. Just really cool looking cards. I just absolutely love that uh, that logo in the top right. Uh, and then I picked up this uh, 1977 Tops in an 8 for the uh, working on the PSA set for the year that I was born. So Fitter is probably the biggest card in that set. Uh, I'll save that one for last. Working on the uh, PSA uh, last card of Hall of Famers, and this isn't actually this is Jack Morris's last card, but the top gold are actually not considered or part of the PSA set. But I'm gonna make them part of my set just because I like tops gold so much. Um, probably a bad time to be showing Jack Morris as he's recently made the news. Um, I'll just leave it at that before I say something I'll regret. And last but not least, I found this on eBay. Um, I think I, I don't remember what I paid, but I think I paid like $35 for this. So not a bad deal, really. Um, it just looked really good in that SGC holder and um, I much prefer vintage cards and, and SGC holders than I do PSA, but as everybody says, including myself, buy the card, not the grade or the company. Um, a very nice looking card. I mean, super nice. So I'm super content with that. And uh, that is all I got. Hopefully everybody's doing well, and we'll talk to you later.